today I'm driving the Peugeot 206 GTI. The tires are quite okay here on the track, but the brakes are hardened. <laughs> if you're going to do some track days, <laughs> you really need to replace the brakes with other ones. Ah, but the engine feels nice. You don't need to change anything about that engine. Oh, the suspension feels very nice and the balance is very well. <laughs> There's always someone faster than you are. <laughs> but it's still a lot of fun, even though we're not the fastest on the track. We're still having fun. <laughs> a little bit of oversteer. And brake. Back to second, Audi S corner, inside, and the other inside. Yeah, there we go again. Well, we're on the straight right now, we're doing 150, 160, 65, 170, almost 170 after brake because <laughs> the brakes won't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the curb. Oh, that was close. There's a bird. A bird on the road. He <laughs> flew away just in time, so he survived. We're overtaking the Beamer. This is the fastest corner on the track for now. Going 140 through that corner on normal street tires. You got a track day car, you can use your brake a lot later. But I need to shift back a lot earlier because otherwise I would have a problem. I would destroy the brakes in just probably a couple of laps. That was really nice, but now I'm going off. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. I put off the air conditioning because it costs a little bit of power. So, uh... When you're not driving on a winding road or a race circuit, it's really noticeable that this car is comfortable. It's luxurious with leather and Alcantara seats and climb control and all of that electric stuff that modern cars got. Um, and well, it's just a nice car to drive. Get you anywhere you want to in uh, quite a lot of comfort. And when there is a nice bend, you can really. Yeah. To be honest, you're not on a race circuit all the time or a winding road. Probably 99% of the travel you make with a car is just on boring straight roads like these. Well, in that case, it's not a car that will disappoint you. Because the ride quality is fairly good and um, it has a lot of options. It's even got windscreen wipers with rain detection. Yeah, yeah. It's a, really a GTI 2.0. And through the corner. The appearance of the car was also something new. No big spoilers or body kits, but subtle adjustments that do not directly stand out. Wider wheel arches and bigger wheels, along with lower cut bumpers on the front and back side. The interior received its distinctive seats and aluminum gear knob. It looks great, but most of the year it feels freezingly cold. Except during the summertime when it leaves burning marks on your hands. For the engine, Peugeot used a trick they're good at. Grab an engine from one of the larger models and put it in a small car. The 206's 2.0-liter 4-cylinder came from the bigger 406. It propelled the GTI to 100 in just over 8 seconds. In its later life, it received an even more powerful engine. In most countries, Peugeot named that version RC, but in some regions, it kept the GTI badge. Did you know that in France, the 206 GTI was actually called S16? 
It stands for Zupap Sese, and that means 16 valves. The regular 206 came in a wide shape of varieties and body styles. It was a huge hit and became the best-selling car in Europe from 2001 until 2003. In the end it even turned out as Peugeot's most ever produced model. A car that needs to be mentioned is the 206 GT. This was the homologation model that allowed Peugeot to enter its 206 in the World Rally Championship. The FIA determined a minimum length of 4 meters. So Peugeot simply added extra length to the car by putting larger bumpers on the GTR. Eventually the 206 WRC became even more successful than its predecessor 205 T16 when it became a triple world rally champion. Even recently, a new racing cup has been started especially for the Peugeot 206 GTI. It is in fact a very suitable car to race with, with a good chassis and a bulletproof engine. As a result, you can expect that more and more good 206 GTIs will disappear from the streets. So get your hands on one while they're still affordable. Thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, then please like the video, subscribe for more videos, and buy some cool stuff on the merchandise shop.